this is this is the most important thing happening in the world right now and i i think that our attention uh needs to be on what is happening to the ukrainian people uh you know as exhausting as it might be for us and you know it is difficult of course to listen about you know to hear these things every single day but you know just imagine what it's like for the ukrainian people uh you know our our exhaustion at, at news media is nothing in comparison to what they're going through and what the, what they need to to deal with and to overcome and so you know i think it's really important that this remains uh on, in the front of everyone's minds uh, in the West, uh, no matter how, you know, exhausting or, or upsetting it might be. Uh, just final point, Dr. Lassen, uh, the role of the church in all of this, the, the Russian Orthodox Church, um, many people will, will take their message and uh, leadership from it. Yes. Uh, so, you know, the Russian Orthodox Church is having a big prior with this uh, kind of, you know, telling the story and, and you know, uh, you know, tending to their flock, because a lot of the Russian Orthodox Church's membership is in Ukraine. And the church in Ukraine is is against this war. They don't want Russian, Russia invading. They don't want to see, you know, their fellow countrymen uh, killed or, you know, and, and all this other terrible, all these other terrible things we're seeing. Uh, at the same time, the Russian Orthodox Church within Russia is very much behind the president. So, it's you know this tension is is getting worse and worse, and so we're seeing more and more cracks within the Russian Orthodox Church itself.